imitation of a braid that we saw on YouTube recently. And to start, you'll want to put a part on top of her head. You can do it on the side or in the center, whichever you prefer. And then I'm going to grab a small section of hair here next to her ear. And I'm going to leave a little bit out here in front, just so that it has more of a flattering finish. I'm going to split this section into four pieces and I'm going to braid each of those. You can do any type of braid that you want. I'm going to do a rope braid. And before I do that, I am going to spray her hair with a little bit of water just so that we don't have flyaways. So to make this rope braid, I'm going to split her hair in half. And then I'm going to take each of these strands and twist them both to the right and then twist them together to the left. And I'm just going to continue that all the way down. If you're working with really long hair, you don't need to braid this all the way to the bottom. You just need enough braid that you can bring this back to the center of her head. And then I'm just going to tie this off with a temporary hair tie that we're going to take out later. Okay, I went ahead and braided the rest of those strands, so now I have four rope braids here. And to start the main part of the braid, I'm going to take this strand here, the second one from the bottom, and cross it over this one. Just like that. Now I'm going to take the two strands on the outside, so this one on the bottom and this one on the top, and I'm going to bring those both into the middle, just like so. And then the last step, I'm going to take this strand on the top and join it with the strand on the bottom. So now I basically have two pieces. I'm going to name this one the back strand and this one the front strand. And now we're going to start the waterfall portion of the braid. To do that, I'm going to take the front strand and bring it through the back strand. So I'm splitting this back strand apart and I'm just going to bring both of those braids from the front right through the middle of that and then rejoin those braids. So I still have just two strands again. And now we're ready to add in a strand here from the top and this is going to be the waterfall piece. It's going to go right in between those two pieces and now again, I'm going to take the strand in the front and bring it through the strand in the back. So I'm bringing both of the braids from the front. I'm splitting apart the strand in the back. And then I'm joining those two pieces again. So from here on out, that's really all there is to the braid. You just keep grabbing a strand from the top, putting it through the middle splitting these braids in the back apart and bringing the braids in the front through the middle. And I'm going to repeat that just until I get to the center of her head. to the center of her head. I'm just going to tie these rope braids off with another temporary elastic while I do the other side. And then I'm just going to do the exact same thing over here. I'm going to make four more rope braids and bring them around so that I can join them here in the back. All right, I went ahead and braided this other side the exact same way. And now I'm just going to join everything here in the middle with one clear rubber band. So I basically have all eight of those rope braids. So here's the finished style. We're going to take our curling iron and add some curls, especially with these pieces here in the front. And then there's a couple of different options here. As you can see on this side, the braid is kind of spread apart, almost like a ladder braid. And then on this side, it's more together, so it just looks like one big twist. So depending on which look you like better, you can either take this and push them together or you can pull it apart. So that's just your personal preference, but that is the finished braid.